filmen Last Days of the Arctic möter vi fotograf Ragnar Axelsson. Bilden hans är er utställd på Chagall i förbindelse med Biffs klimafestival. Uh, I became interested in photography as a kid, you know, when I uh, stayed in the summer on a farm and uh, I was just was watching the people and uh, and and the, and the birds and so I got interested in photographing that. A lot of photography in Iceland and, and uh, books are about landscape and as far as I know the mountains are going to stay there for 5000 years so everybody can do that but you cannot do that with people people will change cars will change everything will change reclusives that's what we call people who live solitary lives on isolated farms in Iceland in areas where traditional farming is no longer profitable they are a dying breed i've taken quite a few portraits of them everything is in color so when you see something in black and white, it's, it pops out, and it has always done that for me. I make the atmosphere in the picture in the dark room, and uh, it's more dramatic. There's, uh, I think it's more power in a black and white photograph than a color one. A color picture to me has to be a very good one to work. Maybe it's stupid, but I, I kind of like black and white much more. So that was horrible to be in front of the camera. I didn't uh, like that. Then I understood a lot of people that you know don't want to be photographed. But it changed my approach to people. Well, it was fun when we were traveling, but it was uh, it was hard because sometimes I was seeing so many great pictures that I couldn't take because I was acting, you know, doing you know we were doing reshooting things that I had already done. I always like photographing people in a daily life. It's, it's, it's my paintings so. of. You know, I want to document the life of people, and usually it's people are good. In most places you can find bad people too, of course, but uh, usually there's, there's good and bad in everyone, but I, I have uh, seen more of good things. When I first went to Kanak, I went hunting with the great Masana. He was a really skilled hunter. For me, it was like going back in time and entering a world that I had only read about in books. Then suddenly finding out that it's a fantastic place to take photographs in. Uh, in the beginning I was not thinking about global warming. Then I realized what was happening when I saw the, the, the Inuits. They think about the glacier as a living thing and they said there's, he's sick, there's something wrong. It's, it's heating up, the, the ice is getting thinner. <laughs> Yeah. Greenland will be a totally different Greenland within a few years. There won't be many hunters. I believe so. That like some of the villages that I went to, they're they're gone. They just nobody's there anymore. It's a world of extreme cold, and uh, it's a world of uh, people uh, tradition of hunting. So it's a it's a it's a thing that might be gone in, in within a few years or changed a lot. So. I just want people to see it and, and think about it.